welcome to Keto Beyond the Couch, episode 238. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you are new here, please say hi down below. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and every Monday, we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch, because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2 and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time... Joe has to do laundry in the house forever from now on. You will be alerted to it. Why? There was a laundry situation this morning. Oh. I wish I had a camera. No, I'm glad you did not have a camera I in the really, garage. I, it made me feel good because I got to... Be my protector? I got to be her protector, her comforter. This I was is Rachel's, a Florida I problem. was Rachel's comforter today. And I, I'm going to tell you something, but I need you to go over there first. So the other day, John Paul, remember if, if you joined our live stream on Saturday, All right. you know that I mentioned that John Paul called and said, do you have eggs? Can I come pick up eggs? Right. And we were talking out in front of the garage when he goes... Hey, a big green lizard just ran into the garage. Are you serious? It was no, or it's no order. And I lizard. said, "Oh well, there's nothing I can do about it." it. Is, and it was about it, this big. It is not that big. It was that big. It is a form of iguana. It is a type of iguana. Okay, so it is bright green. It is bright green. If the body is that long, no, the body is this long. That is not incorporating the tail, yo. <laughs> the tail is long. This was a long lizard, okay? It wasn't that long. So this I am... This is the 100-pound fish story. No, this is not the 100-pound <laughs> fish story. If we get a picture of it, I will share it, and you guys be the judge, okay? I am putting the laundry from the washer into the dryer, and this joker <coughs> runs up my leg. Now, for a normal human person with a reasonable reaction and interaction with lizards, that's one thing. Rachel who is deathly afraid of all lizards, this was another issue altogether. I literally almost grabbed like the rafters in the <sighs> ceiling and Joe was right there. And I worry about you if there was a lizard and a fire at the same time in this house, because I pushed you in front of that thing as if like I did not care about your sustained health and security, right? Like. Normally, I want to believe that in a pressure situation, I would protect this man because I love him. But if, there's, if a, there's a lizard, if yet. there is going to be a lizard involved, clearly uh, you go into glory first. Like you go, you go into glory first if there's a lizard involved. Welcome to Keto Beyond the Couch. Yes, if hi. you're new here, Keto Beyond the Couch is all about our subscribers. We love to celebrate subscribers because our channel is all about community. Yes, it is. And we love to just celebrate wins and we like to highlight success stories and answer questions from um, comments that we found on our Facebook group, our Mighty Networks group, as well as last week's. Keto Beyond the Couch. Judging from the title today, we got some <coughs> interesting ones. We got some interesting ones. This week. Um, now, I do want to say if you are new here, the way we do this live stream is, is we kind of go through all of our questions and talk about everything. We don't pay too much attention to the chat unless something kind of jumps out at me as we're going along. Um, and so hold off your questions to like the last 10 or 15 minutes. Now, if you have a question based on something and you want to talk about it right now because it's relevant to whatever we may be talking about, you can use that super chat function down below. That does highlight our screen. It also benefits our channel, but it highlights our screen and lets us know, hey, you know, somebody has a question. Can you talk about it right now? And we really do appreciate that. And again, I mentioned our social media, the best way to interact and be part of our community is to join our Mighty Networks community. You can find that at members.2crazyketos.com, completely free. There are options there if you want to support us financially and help us on our mission to change the world one rabbi at a time. But the main community is completely free. And I do want to start off 
by saying we are about community. Yeah. And we're so excited because I came up with this hair-brained idea about a month and a half ago. Who knows the bald guy is going to come up with the hair-brained idea? That, like, hey, you know, our friends... Uh, today is Sunday. Phil and Stacy. they were actually, last year, they, they were guests on 11 on 11. Yes. And they had, like, a cruise for their community, their, their RV community. And I'm like, we should do that. We should totally do like, that. we're, about community. And I'm like, and, and I happen to now be a licensed travel agent. Don't ask me why. Um, just Fell down I don't the rabbit have, hole. I don't have enough other things to do. That's right. It's like a side job. Yeah. Um, I have like a hundred side jobs, but anyway, I'm like, why not do something like this? And, and I've learned a lot about this kind of stuff. And I'm like, but next year's kind of busy at the beginning of the year. And we don't want to travel during hurricane season. You don't want to book a cruise during hurricane season. If you look at this year, so many cruises got diverted, people's trips yes. canceled, and, and you don't get your money back. That hurts my you're heart. You're like, if you're on a boat and they go, hey, we're not going to this port anymore, sorry, you're still on the boat. You don't get your money back. I don't even like recommending <coughs> like a, a Brazilian steakhouse and, then, today, the and then somebody comes and says they had a bad experience with a Brazilian right. steakhouse. Like it hurts my heart because I'm like, I want, if we're associated with something, I want you to have a good time. That's the, that's the base level of what I want. Well- so I said, well, there's one in January. I know it's short notice and like you'd have to pay for the the entire cruise in like by the by October 25th. And I'm like, well, let's put some feelers out there and we and like wow. Yeah. Like there's 24 people going on the cruise. Now. It's going to be a party, yo. It's right. going to be a party. And there are still we actually had to go reserve more cabins. Which is awesome. Like that is a good problem to have. So it's not too late if you're interested and sailing away with 2KK, we're going to be doing that. And uh, it's going to be taking place January 8th through the 12th. It's four days. That That's it. Four nights. Four nights. Uh, five days, I guess. And it's going to the Bahamas. It's going out of port. This is a trial run. Of Everglades. No speakers. This is not a conference. This is a true. Hangout. Hang out a meet Rachel, up. Rachel's plan now, like on basically on the sea day, she's planning like, hey, maybe we can do like I'm gonna scavenger nerd it up. hunt. I mean, we're gonna nerd optional. it up. Optional. You don't have to do it. No, you don't even have to act like you know me if you, you don't know, want. Maybe maybe we can sit around if anybody wants to just talk at some point, like round table kind of thing. But yeah, it's gonna yeah, be it's fun. It's just kind of a hangout thing. And yeah, we've already decided we're gonna do another one, um, probably like next November. Yes. Okay. Um, do you want to say what we said we want to do? So the one that we want to have next November, December, here's the goal. You all have to help us. If we can get to 100,000 subscribers when we get there, we're going to give away from us we a gonna buy free it. cruise to somebody when we get. That's going to be our 100,000 subscriber goal. giveaway. Yeah. is going to be a free cruise with the 2KK, the next 2KK sail away. How do you celebrate subscribers without bringing a subscriber with you on vacation? That's my question. How right. how would you? How do That's you effectively celebrate So y'all need celebrate to help it. us get to 100,000 subscribers by next November, December. We gonna give a cruise away. We're crazy. We crazy. Well, I mean, there's crazy in the name. Right. I, you know what else I'm excited about when it comes to community? What? We are only a few days away from Keto Palooza, y'all. Yeah. Like, Which it sold out. Are you packed? Which, oh, by the way, Autumn said what like, are you wearing? she needs our, our... I'm ready. I got it. I was supposed to send it to her. I know, but it's not on me. I, I, you didn't give it to me. So Autumn, I, I blame Jim. this is not... Oh, my <laughs> Lord. I'd be ashamed of myself. You know what's good? Autumn knows me. She absolutely knows me, and she knows the truth. It's, it's this joker over here at Amy. Okay, are you ready? Yes. couple quick things, just to let you guys know, if you didn't see it. Keto Brick, re-release, buttered maple pecan, seasonal flavor, link down below. Uh, now, I don't have this in the description because I don't want people abusing it because they're a tiny company. Yeah. But if you use the code 2 Crazy Ketos, you will get $12 oh. off an order of multiple bricks, but you have to use the link. Okay, so you have to use the link and then the code 2 Crazy Ketos, and you get $12 off an order of multiple bricks. Don't... 
Don't you, get in don't there. Don't buy two bricks. Right. And, and go get, buy one, get one free, and basically make them lose money. Right. Please don't do that. Yeah. Like, I keep, they can't figure out how to make it, like, where you have, I said make it, you have to buy 14 bricks. But right. Robert and Crystal are too nice. They're very nice. Um, Clearly so, nicer than you. I wanted to mention that also, because I'm not perfect. We talk about this all the News time. Flash. Look at your labels. Yes. Always look at your labels. So... Love Celsius. Yeah, you do. I'm getting all my Celsius in before beef, butter, bacon, and egg in a couple weeks, right? Right. So I'm trying to back, shrink my coffee cup, yo. Back on back on Prime Day, they had Celsius. Like certain flavors were on sale, like fifteen dollars for a case of twelve. With if you drink Celsius, which I think is the cleanest energy drink out there. It's the cleanest one out there. Weird to now, say. Now, I it. really like what Jonathan has put together, but I have like eight cases of Celsius in the house, so I'm trying to go through it. Um, but it's, it's, I think it's the cleanest energy drink out there. I ordered a bunch of those flavors because Celsius is normally like $2.50 to $3 a can. And here you're getting it for like $1.20 a can. And I was like, oh, they have a stevia sweet in Celsius. The big, the only complaint anybody has with Celsius really sucralose. is it's sweetened with sucralose, which I don't have a problem with sucralose. So I ordered it and I finally opened up this case and it's cucumber lime. And I'm like, eh. It's much better than I thought it was going to be. Well, that's a nice You tried it. Endorsement, it's, yeah. It's not like the greatest flavor, but... I never even liked cucumber lime as like a lotion. If it, right. if I'm at Bath and Body Works and there's like cucumber... I re My mom's best friend used to love cucumber. Like she would always get that as like her scent. And it was never my I don't favorite. Hate it. But it I, was not bad. It's not fruit punch, but I don't hate it. Yeah. Okay? But, again, remember... It said sweetened with stevia. So yeah. it's not sweetened with sucralose. So I was just sitting here looking, going, because it doesn't say on the front, stevia. And I'm like, huh, like, is this the stevia one? And I'm looking on the back, ingredients. Because usually it's like the ingredients are carbonated water, flavoring, citric acid, and sucralose. Right. Carbonated water, erythritol. Huh. Natural flavor, citric acid, beta carotene for color, and stevia, which is the last ingredient. So they're really sweetening it with erythritol with, and then slapping stevia on it because they know everybody wants to see that. And the, the Celsiuses that are sweetened with sucralose Celsius. are zero. I'm not blaming them. I'm blaming me. Yeah. The, the Celsius that you are sweetened with sucralose are zero total carbohydrates. Nine total carbs. <gasps> oh! Now, it's zero net carbs we because have, we it's, don't nine, follow it's net carb. nine grams of erythritol. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I understand this is you. And right? I'm wondering because I've been really phlegmy for the last day and a half, and that's when I started drinking this one up, and I'm wondering if the erythritol is what's making me phlegmy. Oh, my gracious. Yeah. Okay, Now, check I'm going to your... finish them because I'm not wasting my money. We're going to phlegm through this quickly. Um, but yeah, just as a reminder, even on a brand new trust, wow, check the labels every wow. once in a while. Let's jump into this. We're going to start off Keto Beyond the Couch with our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the oh, Week. Oh, my boyfriend's calling you, Scam Likely. <coughs> and uh, this one is from Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa put up this little post and said, Don't be harsh on your past self. You were doing the best you could with what you knew and your efforts brought you to where you are now. Recognize the growth you've achieved, but remember that your past self was valuable and essential to your journey, RM Drake. Lisa, that is such a fantastic reminder. I think to myself sometimes on those days where I'm like, man, I really want to kick myself because of all of my past mistakes. I remember I would not have not just sympathy for the people I come in contact with, but empathy for the people I come in contact with as they traverse their own personal keto journey. Like all of the mistakes I've made, all of the things that I've learned in recent years, like it has been because I did live a life before keto and I'm learning from it and then I'm not keeping that information to myself as I learn new things and, I, and I'm doing better for my own personal health. I'm sharing that information with other people and hoping to bless their lives as well. So, you know, without your past, 
you won't be able to bless other people's future. So I think it's important for us to, like she's saying, not get so hard on ourselves for our past mistakes, but decide, hey, my mess is going to be a message for others to benefit from. That's right. That's awesome. Okay, so our first subscriber of the week is Danny. Hi, Danny. Danny said, very excited about going to Kita Palooza next week. Me too. My wife and my mom are going with me. Hopefully, I'll make some new keto carnivore friends. You sure will, Danny, because you're coming with a heart that's open for it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, Danny! I eat only meat. Ask me why. I love that. Well, if you have a conversation starter on your t-shirt like that, I don't know how you won't get people asking you more, right? You're going, yeah. you're going to definitely begin some conversations. And... I hope as you're packing for Keto Palooza this week, you are packing some little extra bravery. Put br pack the shoes that are gonna allow you to make the first step forward in friendship. Decide these shoes are gonna have me take a step forward. I am going to walk up to somebody and begin the conversation. We talk about putting on our thinking cap. Well, put on your friend shoes. So your shoes need to be ready to walk toward somebody new and begin the conversation. And just know we are all hoping someone will talk to us. I'm hoping someone will come and visit with me. I don't want to be lonely. I, I want somebody to come visit with me. So come visit with me. If you see this face, come talk to this joker. If you see this face, come talk to this joker. We want to visit with you and we're not the only ones who yeah. want to visit with you. So here's what I'm, I, I know this sounds really mean and harsh. And I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Okay. If you go to Keto Palooza, yeah, and Wait, you I can come still home, hear you. and you didn't meet anybody and didn't make any friends, that's on you. Ooh, it's on you. That's because a hard autumn, accusation. It's it's like Dr. Barry says: if you go to an event that he's at and you didn't get an ussy, it's your fault, not his, because he will stay around. He will stay around with Nisha going, "Hey, Dr. Barry." We need to go. Your children are waiting. They're hungry. And he's like, wait, one more person. One more person. Right? So that is how he is. And he's going to be there with Miss Nisha this week. So it's the same thing. It, Autumn is going to have so many activities to be team building, to help you form community. If you don't take part in any of them, and it, it's, on, it's your fault. It's nobody else's fault but you. Because you are in a safe space. I can't say that about any other place we go. Right. I, I can't even say that about going to church. And I love church. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> it's not always safe. But I do know when you go to Keto Palooza, and even when, I, I shouldn't, I, mean, I was going to say Orlando, but nothing is like Keto Palooza. When you go to, Autumn has set up Keto Palooza like for the most introverted, shy person that wants to hide in a corner that, you could make friends if you literally just say hi when somebody else walks up to you and says hi. Yeah. Right? So it, if you come home with no friends and you didn't talk to anybody, it's, There's, I see it's Joyce, be your fault. I see Joyce Butler is in the chat. She is a beautiful, awesome, friendly person. There's another person that like when you see her at Cutapalooza, you see somebody with a tag that says Joyce Butler. You want to, she wants to visit with you. There's so many people that are looking forward to seeing your beautiful face. Jackie, thank you very much for the $2 hey. super chat. Said Danny is great. I'm an awesome help at the last indie meetup. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, uh, next one is from Christina. Christina, hey, Christina said, this is 55. I'm beyond grateful to be blessed with health, love, family, friends, and the support from my two crazy kiddos family. I've never felt stronger and healthier than I do today. Celebrating another year of being SIBO-free. Wow. Having healed my digestive issues. Uh, dysbiosis. Dysbiosis and IBS means so much more than ever wanting to eat unhealthy. My why is strong. I continue to move forward in my journey to optimal health. Oh, look at Christina. Oh, my gracious. Christina is actually going to be at Keto Palooza. That is another. Take note of that gorgeous woman. That's another person who couldn't be more approachable, sweet as she can be, very, very friendly. And, you know, 
let's talk for just one second about like things like IBS. Christine is a teacher. When you have IBS and, and you're a teacher, like this is a huge challenge. If the teachers out there know, it's not easy to get access to a bathroom right. when you when you want it. And that is when everything is running normal. You know, we talked about with Dr. Tony Hampton about who he's going to be at Keto Palooza this year. He suffered with that and how he almost missed walking the stage at his own college graduation because of it. Yeah. I mean, what a difference keto has made. So, okay, we're gonna take a quick fade to black and then come back with comments. I think you've probably noticed it has begun. I do tend to, if you are new here, dress up even. a lot for Halloween Move time. Over that way. Halloween time. Is, is it because- like looking and we're not centered. I Well, you know, we'll never be just right, baby. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, so just spoiler alert, it's Halloween, so you don't know what I'm gonna wear. I wanna oh, apologize. Do you know I didn't even notice a ghost? I, I thought it was a cow shirt. offend. <laughs> it is, it's a cow shirt. I thought you were dressing up to be a cow. It is the ghost of all of the hamburgers that I've eaten in the last five years. So it, oh, wow. it's, it's a substantial amount. I, I want to invite everybody, if you are not subscribed, please go subscribe to our channel. First of all, it's free, okay? What really shocked me is that 70% of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed, which makes zero sense. Make a commitment. Like we have over 60,000 subscribers Let's and our go views steady. get like 5,000 views, yet 70% of the people who are watching them aren't subscribed to our channel. Come on now. So like, please go subscribe to our channel because we want to give away a cruise next We year. do. Okay, but, you also want, it's free, it helps us grow, it helps us get our message out. While you're doing that, hit the like button because this all helps YouTube tell people about us. And then hit the bell button so you're notified about new videos because you're definitely gonna wanna be notified about tomorrow's video. Oh. Because tomorrow's video is a recipe video. That is what, five years five in the making? Five years in the making. Yes. Five years in the making. And we finally, 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 we were able to make this recipe and I'm so excited about it yeah. because when what we're making left our life six years ago, I was sad because like when we would go on trips, I looked forward to this particular thing every time we went and we haven't had it in six years. No. And so for five years, we've been like, there's got to be a way to make it. There and has make to it be a way. Right. And we finally were able to do that. And you're going to want to be subscribed with the bell notification on because I'm going to tell you this, that a couple of the ingredients are probably going to sell out as soon as the video goes up. Yeah. Because people are going to be like, oh, I need to go make that right away because yeah. everybody's going to want to make this. Yeah. So you're definitely going to, you don't want to, you don't want to miss this one. You don't want to miss this one. Right? Okay. Which we did have a recipe yesterday. We did pistachio bars. We did. It was good. It was, it's good. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's really good. It's like, I'm going to honestly say it's the best keto cookie that I have ever me. Now, I didn't create the recipe. Amanda, who is amazing, yeah. created it for Keto Chow. But if you watch that video, in that video, I said something about my favorite cookie pre-keto was the three-layer cookies. They, they're like Italian cookies. They're like red, green, and um, yellow with chocolate on the top, and then you would use a marmalade, and you used, I, I made them all the time. We very, very expensive. We will be making that recipe. We are making it, so if anybody comes out with that recipe, using Keto Chow, before we do. You tell them, don't you. They got the idea from us. Don't just you. Just note the date and time that we said that. I have already ordered the marmalade from Julie at Fox Hill. It's coming. Like it, it, it is like when we get back from Keto Palooza, we are going to perfect that recipe. And then I'm probably gonna have to never make it again because prior to keto, I could eat an entire tray of those things. Like I used to make triple batches of them. I remember. So. I benefited from that. You did. I did. Okay, first comment is from, oh no, that's, we read that one. From Diana. Hey Diana, jumping pee. 
I had the same problem when I first started going to the indoor trampoline park with my five-year-old. I just wore a panty liner. I guess my pelvic floor has strengthened because a year later and I don't have that problem anymore. Joe, it's time to invest in a waterproof shower safe. You know, Rachel just can't help herself, yo. Like, thank you so much for letting <coughs> me know that I'm not the only person that was surprised that when you started exercising again, maybe like before keto, you were like me and I wasn't eating right and I also wasn't exercising right. And once I started to feel better and I had all of this added energy and I was ready to move my body, I started, excuse me, walking. That felt like the first natural thing to just start doing, like getting a lot of steps in. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna start, you know, doing some strength training and I'm gonna do something very old school like jump roping because that was something that I used to do exercising and it doesn't require any machines. But then I go to, ex to jump rope and like I peed. And I was like, oh my goodness, I never did this when I was a little kid, but like things have changed. And so yeah, you just kind of have to like adjust. And like she said, things are better, but you're just not anticipating it to begin yeah. with. Sorry, TMI. Uh, next one is from Kate in Salt Lake. Hey, Kate. Uh, Rachel. Yes. It only happens when the first time you epilate, because you were talking about the epilator last oh, week. Oh, pulling my hair out? Or at least it only happened the first time for me. After that, no pain, just feeling the tug of the I, hair coming out. I, a lot, there were a lot of comments about this, that you should get an epilator, that it only hurts the first time. I guess it hurt so bad the first time, I wasn't I'm, willing to give it a second date. I, I'm willing to invest in an epilator if to you just will stop do it. using my razor. The other thing. Oh, by the way, high five, I'm proud of you, because I've noticed that you have not been using my razor this week. I haven't. I didn't even have to hide it. I haven't. I've been good. I've been trying to be. I did find like six brand new blades for the other, my old good razor, the Gillette. Right. So you can have those. I think it's funny too. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but our pastor recently in a recent sermon was talking about like, one of the, like, just lo like loving your partner and like being, being, um, thoughtful is as little as like making sure that you actually change the toilet paper roll because a lot of times it's like you don't think about like you're just dealing with your own issue and you're leaving it where the person behind you only has like two squares of toilet paper and you're like hey if there's still toilet paper there so i'm not changing it or at the very most they just put the new roll on top of like the 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 roll that's all spent. Have you noticed that you have not had to change the toilet paper roll because yeah. I've been like, if I you haven't, if and, I'm at the end, I don't use like. Listen, I try to be more intentional. Listen, Chris Bear turned us on to the greatest invention of all time, that Rachel fought tooth and nail. Yeah. I, in fact, I put this thing in our bathroom. She came home and she's like, "What is that?" I'm like, it's a bidet. She was like, I told you I don't want that and I'm never using it. I had to drill a hole through the wall and install electric next to well, the I toilet. Well, I was like, why is our toilet plugged in? And now she's like, I want one in the RV. I miss it. Like when we travel? When we travel. Right, so like I use that primarily, but you're like, no, toilet paper. I'm like, hey, you need to go to like yes. Asia. No, you have to do both. I, I do a, I do both, Ugh. but mostly the bidet. Let's not talk about and it. And so it's, it's, it has been nice to reach over and go, hey, we have toilet paper. You're <laughs> it's welcome. It's been awesome, I'm so proud of you. I did notice this, Chris said, I think it's funny. I think this is awesome, actually. It's so awesome. There are three keto meetups on October 21st. Wow. One in Indiana, Tennessee, and Illinois. And lowcarbevents.com. And I am so proud of this We're community. We're so this, proud of you. This was our desire. Yeah. When we started the channel, it wasn't our desire because we were... Dummies, dummies who, like, did this as a joke. Yeah. But when we went to... KetoCon in 2019, that's where our focus is like, we need to build a community. Yeah. And this was our, our vision to have people just be friends to each other and encourage each other and to see spawning out of our community literal meetups. Yes. Like five, six, seven people getting, getting together. together, like Sarah in Wisconsin and, and like just... Sabrina, going like, let's go Jackie. to Buffalo Wild Wings and hang out on a Saturday and be in community and encourage. It's it's amazing. And amazing. this is what we wanted. I know that 
Cynthia and Nancy, and they're they're hosting a Friendsgiving here in Florida, in Claremont, in yes. November. I mean, th- I, to me, it's not funny. It's 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 our dream. It is our absolute dream. So thank you for for you guys doing it because I know it takes a lot of work. And if you are interested in having a friendsgiving in your local area, and I can tell you, um, when I lived in Virginia, Northern Virginia, I was pregnant with Caleb, and I couldn't travel. I had a lot of complications with my pregnancy. Um, and so I couldn't travel home for Thanksgiving. And so one thing that Thanksgiving that we were there, we had to do a Friendsgiving where it was just like everybody that didn't have a place to go. We had Thanksgiving at my house. And I got to tell you, it's one of the dearest Thanksgiving memories that I will cherish forever because you're thinking it's like, it's just about like family, but this is family. We are family. So if you're interested in having a Friendsgiving, Make sure you go to lowcarbevents.com, fill out a form so that you can get that information put into the system so that people know that you're having it. Right. Right. And it doesn't have to cost you money. No. Right. Listen, Cover I have dish. said over and over again, we'll never host a conference because like I. It's a I, lot. It's a lot of work. Like I look at Autumn and I'm like, oh my gosh, Autumn, you're awesome. She is awesome. And you awesome. are so much better than me because you're willing to put the amount of time and energy into organizing all this and arranging hotels and finding speakers and making sure everything works right and sound and all of that. So thankful And oh, for by her. the way, laying out all of this money going, I really hope people come. Right. Because I just laid out $30,000. Right. Right. And so I... I'm not willing to do that. In fact, there when we were in Omaha, the woman who runs it, Jonah, was like, hey, you guys should drive one. And I turned to Rachel, and I'm like, what if we could get it? And she's like, no. No, because, like, she's like, it's just, it's stressful. It and is. so people who run them, like, I have, I'm in so much awe of them. But something like the cruise where I can go, hey, everybody just show up. Right. Yeah. Like if you want to come show up and or a, or a friends giving or a meetup where you can go, here's where we're going to come, bring a dish, we'll go you know, pay your own way at a restaurant. That, it doesn't have to cost you a bunch of money. It's about community, not all of the pizzazz. It isn't about the food even. Like you find, like even when you bring covered dishes, people visit way more than they're eating even. You yeah. know, it's yeah. just visiting. Tustin said, I like how Joe said he won't do a conference, but he's hosting a cruise. It's <laughs> just as close. It'll be a small start and something big. But it's nice that I but don't it, have to think about it. It's something where I can go, like, listen, stuff. here's a cruise. If you want to go, go. You pay your own way. We're just going to hang out. You can do what you want. Notice we said no speakers. Right, right. right. <laughs> you know, and, and like, but I don't have to, I don't have to try to find a hotel and a venue and, can we fit enough people and will we get enough people to cover our costs? That to me, like, I, I don't do well with that kind no. of stuff. Like, you know, I had to fill up my truck with diesel fuel the other day. I changed out my truck's fuel tank, like two, three week old truck. I put a new fuel tank in it and I now have a 60 gallon fuel tank. It's $260 to fill the tank from empty. Yeah. I had just less than three quarters of a tank. And I, it cost me $89 to fill it up. And I, I didn't need a lot of fuel. I called Rachel. I'm like, don't ever let me drop below a half a tank. Right. Because it like, hurts your heart to have to fill like, that much that, up. That alone is scares me. Like, oh my gosh, when I get to a half a tank, it's going to cost me 180 bucks to fill the tank. Because it's such a big tank. Right. So next one is from Mel. Hi, Mel. Another bonus of a chest freezer is that they're usually cheaper. Yes. But a big downside is that when you're pregnant, it's awkward to dig stuff out of the bottom. You're so right. It's awkward to do it even when you're not pregnant. And it's always the case that the thing you need is in like the bottom far corner of the chest freezer. <laughs> and like, yeah, I can remember my mom like like literally doing a handstand inside of the chest freezer, trying to get something out of the bottom of it. Yep. Uh, next one's from Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Uh, Joe and Rachel, I have a question. I'm a type one diabetic that takes as little insulin as possible because of my keto diet. I eat less than 20 carbs a day. At least I attempt to make a lot of the recipes that you all have shared and love them and shared them with others. But I just recently got the ketone measure 
instrument, and today my ketones were measured 2.3. I think that's good, but do you have a video that explains it more and I can exactly understand exactly how that works? I do not take exogenous ketones, it's just my diet, and I try to eat as clean as I can and movement. I also have a continuous glucose monitor that I do monitor regularly and my blood sugar is good. That's awesome. So we do not have a video on it per se, like really discussing that. There are a few out there. What I would say is this, is again, first of all, we are not doctors, nurses, or health professionals. But if you are a type one diabetic, I would pay attention to ketones and not get too high. Now 2.3 is fine. I'm talking about five, six, seven, getting way up there because you could risk things like ketoacidosis which you can you risk not just on keto as a type one diabetic. Um, if your ketones are that high, okay, most likely, most likely, you're either if you're not taking exogenous ketones, you're either eating a tremendous amount of fat and things that become exogenous and become ketones like MCT oil, or more on the other side, you might be under eating. Right. Because you have to understand what keto is in the body. So you have two terms that we have. People confuse them a lot. You have ketosis, which is where your body is using ketones for fuel. And you have ketogenesis, which is where your body is creating ketones. So people will sometimes go, I'm in ketosis. Well, like the ketone meter doesn't tell you if you're in ketosis necessarily. Most of the time it's right. But the problem is, is we've talked about this before. If you drink alcohol, the ketone meter will still say you have whatever your ketones, but you're not in ketosis regardless of what that meter says. Because if you drink alcohol, your body's not using ketones for fuel, which is the definition of ketosis. Ketogenesis is making ketones. The state of ketogenesis and the state of your body endogenously creating ketones is really your body's way of not starving to death. Right. So when you're not consuming enough food, your body creates ketones. So if you watch our friend Robert, when he's, and, and a lot of the keto influences, when they're just eating their maintenance, their ketones are not super high. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, because their body is using it. They're eating enough fat, their body is utilizing the fat for fuel, and they don't need to have a bunch of extra ketones. They don't have to break it down because their body's just using the fat for fuel. When you under eat, your body starts really breaking down fat and having these ketones. So like, if you look at Robert, if you followed him on his journey for becoming the leanest man of live, as he was cutting his calories, you saw his ketones going up. High ketones doesn't necessarily mean weight loss, though. That's the other side because there's other things. You could be breaking down muscle, you know, for fuel. So I would try to, as a type 1 diabetic, not go much higher than that. But if you're concerned that they're too high, you're probably under eating. So I would just be careful because, again, under eat slows metabolism. Yeah. So... Uh, next one is from Dawn. Hey Dawn, Rachel, I was thinking about what you said about your loose skin at the Claremont meetup. Looking at you while we were there, I really struggled with even seeing any really loose skin on you. Gosh, Dawn, thank you. You might have noticed me looking at you a lot. That was really because I could not see any loose skin on you and was wondering, what am I not seeing? You looked beautiful in your outfit. If I lose my excess fat and look even half as good as you do, I'd be ecstatic. I was so happy to meet you as you two inspired me to keep trying. Thanks, Dawn. After having given up on being successful at losing weight a couple years ago, looking at your energy and mobility and your impact on so many is so encouraging me to continue on this way of eating. Dawn, thank you so much. It was such a privilege to get to meet you in person. And I'm so glad that we live near one another so that when we do have meetups, we get to see each other and visit again. I'm so excited for that. What I want to say about loose skin, and I think everybody's going to experience that if you're like me and you were 300 pounds and or more and you lose a bunch of weight, you've blown up a balloon and you deflate the balloon and what's left is a stretched out balloon. So there are areas of my body that are like stretched out and you're going to have loose skin, you know, and that's okay. What I advise doing is play to your strengths. 
find what you feel comfortable in. The areas of my body that are the worst, I ain't gonna show you that. I am not gonna wear outfits that are like, this is the worst, like all but the time, right? But some of it right? is self-confidence. Yeah. I mean, so, and self-image. So, yes, you have loose skin, but not as bad as, like, you'll see, like, I had a friend who lost a lot of weight through a bariatric surgery, and her loose skin was, like, insane. Well, it's like, also how fast you lose it. It's how fast you lose it. So, again, slower weight loss tends to be better. Right. For loose skin and eating this way does help. Yeah. So are you going to have loose skin? There's no way to really avoid it. We've decided to embrace loose skin. I wore the shorts over this year. getting surgery. There's nothing wrong with getting surgery to remove it. We're just not willing to go through the pain and the aggravation and the expense to get it done. So we embrace it. We use it as a badge of honor. But some of it is a self-image. You think it's a lot worse than it actually is. I think most it's people do. It's just like... I look at pictures of me by myself and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Now, do I want to drop about 10 pounds? Yes. I look at this video monitor of me sitting next to her right now and go, I weigh 400 pounds. Aww. Right? Because like- All I see is your cute shirt with Jason on it. I just, like, I, I have a horrible self-image and I think I look bigger than I am. I mean, I'm still wearing a 32 pan. Now- I can't be that big if I'm wearing a size 32 pant and a large shirt. But now I also go back and go, well, you used to wear a 30 and a medium shirt. But it's not the triple extra large with the 46s that I used to wear. Yeah. But again, it, it's how do you see you yourself? You have to decide. I'm going to like myself. But despite the unpopular opinion of the, of the, of the thoughts going on in my head, I've got to decide at some point – that I like myself. And you know what helps? Community. Because yeah. like having a friend like Dawn in the in a moment where I'm having a weak time and being like, gosh, I think I I don't I I, I look awful, I can reference and say, like, hey, Dawn, it was encouraged me. Right. So Dawn sees me as, as as not looking awful. So like stop thinking that, Rachel. So and it's the same for everybody. When we get together, we're going to notice the good. Right. So you want to get together with people during yeah. this season because they're going to notice the good in you. They're going to point out the positive and help you. I did just see this regarding earlier. Hey, Joanna. Joanna said, the longer I'm on keto, the lower my ketones get. I think I'm fat at that. Yeah. yeah. And, and that there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Okay. That's a good indicator. Next one is from Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Thanks for an informative video. Can you speak about zip fizz on a video? We've talked about zip fizz a lot of times. Um... I'll, I'll, we're, we're getting so far behind. So I will briefly say this. We used to use Zip Fizz a lot. A lot. A lot. They changed the formulation. We stopped using it. The other thing is, is sometimes we got really loopy on Zip Fizz. And also, Zip Fizz is ridiculously high, like a thousand percent of the vitamin B that you're supposed to have. And a lot of people would come back and say, my doctor said my vitamin B is too high. Right. And it, it, it really comes down to Zip Fizz. I'm not saying Zip Fizz is bad, but they changed the formulation. Yeah. Also, what I didn't like about Zip Fizz was if you let it sit for long, like, I don't mean a main drink. I mean, like, the enclosed capsules. It turns into, you had like, these a enclosed capsules, weird medicine taste. And then... What would end up happening was is they tasted really bad if they were old. Like, and I mean old by like maybe a month or two old. They, yeah. they started tasting bad. So we never drank them for energy. We drank them for the potassium. We just started doubling down on things. Like we really, like Element and Relight, I think when those came, we're like, I like those better and they're healthier and they've got everything I needed. Ziffiz was giving potassium but didn't give me sodium. If I want energy, I use Jonathan's pre-workout or... I drink Celsius, but I don't get energy from Celsius anyway. I just like the taste of Celsius. It's like it. I could drink ten of them in a day. I don't get wound up. You don't from get it. real jittery from it. Uh, next one's from Helen. Hi, Helen. Then if you have plenty of fat on your body, doesn't it need to pull from that first and not dietary fat? No. So we were talking about this last week. This is about oxidative priority. Oxidative priority is when you when you consume. What does your body use first? We, as we mentioned, your body will use alcohol first because it can't. It really goes by what can it store. 
That's really what it comes down to. So your body will always burn off alcohol first for two reasons. Number one, it's a poison. Number two, it has zero capacity to store alcohol in the body. So when you consume alcohol, your body will use that as fuel first, which means everything else stops. Using ketones, creating ketones, all of that stops. That's why we gain weight. If you're on keto and you're drinking alcohol and you're in a stall, it might be the alcohol. Yeah. Number two is exogenous ketones. So ketones that you consume, like prove it, things like that. Number three is protein, but not for fuel. Your body doesn't want to use protein for fuel unless it absolutely has to. It's going to use protein as a building block, amino acids, creating muscle, repairing muscle. Number four is carbohydrates. So now you've got carbohydrates, so your body's going to use the carbohydrates Get rid of that because it it can store about 400 calories of carbohydrates before like turning it into fat and stuff. So your body will use carbohydrates. Number five is dietary fat, and then I rather I'm sorry, yes, and then you had have you have your body fat. I I screwed up the number somewhere, but that's the order. Okay, but here here is the thing. I want you to think about this one. People confuse this. You go to a store. You're going into a store. I give you a $20 bill. You go into the store and the store only takes cash. Are you going to use the $20 bill that I just gave you, AKA the food you just ate, or are you going to stop everything and go to the bank to get $20 out of the ATM and then come back? You're going to use the $20 that I just gave you, right? So that's the same way your body is with fat. Your body will use the fat you eat first and then go to your stored body fat. The key is you have to eat the body fat to keep your metabolism, the dietary fat to keep your metabolism going, but under eat just enough so that your body taps into stored body fat. If you under eat too much, after a couple of weeks, your body's like, I don't want to tap into that. Because if I tap into that, uh, I may not have enough. Okay. Can I say something really quick? I'm still upset I screwed up the numbers, but I I was in the right order. Okay. Maybe don't assign numbers. Just start saying then and then and then the next time. Because I have a feeling we'll we'll talk about this again. Right. But um, what I wanted to say just escaped me because you said that. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. We talked too much. Yeah, that's good. Just move on. It'll come back. Quick fade to black. It'll come back after the fade to black. No, it didn't. It didn't come back? It, it didn't come back. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. I need to just say it as soon as I say it. Next one is from Larry. Hey, Larry. Before I began my health journey over six years ago, I was a man trapped in a 600-pound body. I miss not being able to walk outside, being a full participant at any outings, and always being the man who everyone had to wait on to catch up while they were walking. The pain in my feet and legs was terrible. I feared I fe- uh, feared falling, <coughs> especially when I had to walk on unpaved sur- surfaces. I even fear those walks on uneven surfaces to this day. So just think of my fear when my wife and I had to walk on unpaved parking lot, then walk another three quarters of a mile on a paved upward incline path to go see and listen to Chicago perform last night. My prayer for the last several days was for me to successfully navigate this opportunity without falling. Well, thanks be to God, my wife, the keto lifestyle, and this 2KK family, I made it up and back to the car. Wow, praise God. Thank you all. I am now living life with keto beyond the couch. First of all, Larry is such an encouragement. Like, I always am so tickled when you share, Larry. We appreciate your involvement in this community, and and I love hearing from you. This is what it's all about, people. It's not just about optimizing a little bit of weight loss. When you go from, from 600 pounds and you lose weight and you gain your life back, that you can leave your house and you can go places and see things and enjoy a fuller marriage and fuller time with the children and your vacation time, you know, you can do more. It, it, is, it is a powerful thing. It is a powerful thing that we're doing. It is a powerful thing that we are sharing. And what is so beautiful about this is 
It's free, guys. Right. It's free. It is within our grocery budgets to take back our health. And that is whatever your grocery budget is. Like, just like, you know, Dr. Barry, probably one of the most powerful statements that he said that's spoken into my life is we can do this with hot dogs and mustard. We can begin. If we are on food stamps, we can begin to get healthy. And, and it's such a powerful thing. And when I see somebody go and say, I went to a concert with my wife last night and I walked there, I, I still look at chairs and say, will that hold me? I know what that fear is. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to still get on a plane and be like, will I fit within the confines of the seat? Because you've thought about it for so long. It's not something that like just falls away easily. So I am just so excited for you, Larry. Thank you for sharing that. Next one is from Chantel. Hey, Chantel. Taking our measurements are so important. I only lost a half a pound or 0.6 of a pound for the whole month of September, which is kind of disappointing. But I did lose 10.62 inches wow. in September. Wow. Had I not taken my measurements and went by weight only, I might have felt defeated. But instead, I feel super duper excited. Okay, I love the super and the duper. Like, that is absolutely me, right? I love that so much. Please, please. Take measurements. If you are in our Triple B Challenge, that's gonna be happening October 15th through November 15th. You can still sign up for that course. We're gonna, you don't have to join the course, but the course is still available to do. If you're in the, the challenge already, you see I'm already giving you a page to start taking measurements. You want to take measurements. You don't get to decide how much weight's gonna lose. If you look at a picture of, of five pounds of fat, it's big. It's very fluffy. Fat is very fluffy. So you're gonna lose inches before you lose yeah. pounds. So make sure you're taking measurements. You're also not gonna get to determine where your fat comes off of. So if you're like, hey, I would like to lose weight in my thighs, it may come off in your arms, your neck, like some other part of your body that you're not looking at. So make sure you're taking measurements. Real quick on triple B and E course, if you're enrolled in the course, um, the actual week one will not open until October 15th. Like I've gotten a lot of messages. Like I have the first three days and I can't, well, we're starting on October 15th. Yeah. So like the course will open on October 15th. There's like three days of getting ready that you can do now, but the actual course won't open until October 15th. I think it's important for us to note too, that we are not going to not have like videos maybe that's possibly going up in that time that like are just beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Yeah. Like we're we, going to pre-record some videos that yeah. like recipes that may not be beef, butter, bacon, because not everybody's doing beef, if butter, bacon. If you don't want to see anything that ha is got an ingredient outside of triple B and E, stay inside of our course curriculum because the, the page that's like dedicated to the people participating in the course, we're not going to be posting but, things but, that aren't triple B and but E. But still... If you see the video show up, like here's a recipe video on don't how to out. make cheese crisps or something. Yeah. Don't watch it, but hit the like button on the video. Yeah, that would or, help. Or maybe, <laughs> here's what I would like you to do. Um, like basically just hit the play button, put it in another room, let it play, and then come back. There you go. This way we still get the view. Thanks for that. Because <laughs> it helps build the channel. Next one from Tirza. Plug. My Hello, daughters Tirza. are 18 and 13. They are both between five foot one and five foot two. Their weight is similar, which ranges between 120 to 125. That being said, there's no chance I can ever wear their pants. I used to be closer to five foot seven and somehow lost some height, and I'm closer to five foot six. Anyway, short story I made long. I love when I can fit into their tops. Usually uh, big on them, but still. Wearing my daughter's size large Nike hoodie quite comfortably. It's not tight everywhere. How not nice. something I could have done at my heaviest of 330 pounds. I will never forget. I know how we're cool. running late. I will never forget the day Rachel came in and said, I can get into your pants. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, you know, they, they now, would. Now I can't get into your pants. It, but it's a thing. I can remember when, you know, they sell things that are like boyfriend jeans, boyfriend shirt. And I always thought that was so cute in like a romantic comedy where like a woman comes in and she's wearing like her husband's like buttoned out. I could not wear his clothes. I was too big to wear his clothes. I could never have that. So that was really a victory. When that happened, like I literally teared up because. I never could wear
or anything. I, I never experienced that aspect of a romantic comedy before. I just never had experienced it. I was always bigger. I was bigger than my first husband. I was just always bigger. So it was, I mean, people used to think it was a joke. They would be like, Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean, and they would compare me um, saying that, like I was heavy in ratio to my first husband, it was very hurtful. And it was definitely something that, you know, was stuck in my mind. And so that was a major victory for me. Next one from Kat. Hey Kat, hey, I'm new to the group. I have done keto before, lost 40 plus pounds and gained it all back. Um, on this group, I, I see some people are on the carnivore keto. Sorry if I sound dumb, but is it better than the standard keto? And what about cholesterol levels? How is the weight shed with that approach? So we talked about this on a Thursday live stream. I'll address it very quickly. Um, carnivore is just a strict version of keto. It's less carbs. So keto can, is carnivore. Can you benefit from car carnivore? Yeah, because you're lowering the carbohydrates. You're not eating zero carb. Don't let anybody tell you eating zero carb. If they're eating eggs, they're eating liver, they're not eating zero carb. There are, they're, they're eating as close to zero as you can get. Um, so it's not that it's better. It can help some people because maybe you have more inflammation. You have more, uh, things that you need to work on. What we, as we said on Thursday, and I, I don't want to talk about it too much, but as we said on Thursday, do what's sustainable. For me, carnivore is not sustainable. I I I want cream. I I want a vegetable sometimes. Sometimes I want a keto chow. Sometimes I want a Celsius. Some people will tell you coffee is not carnivore. It doesn't come from an animal. I mean, the carnivore community, not within us, but outside. Go and find a carnivore Facebook group. It can get crazy. I mean, I've literally seen people like I put garlic on my steak and they got booted out because they were using garlic. I mean, it, it can get, the, it, and, and again, I'm not saying carnivore is bad. I'm saying for me, not sustainable. Do what's sustainable for you. But it should be whole foods. It, it should be whole foods. I think it's very important that you remember, too, that it's not just that, like, well, carnivore may be more optimal for something you're trying to do health-wise. But if you are a person who identifies as, I, I'm keto, you are not less than someone who identifies as I'm carnivore. If we, they tell you they're better than you, you boot them are, out of your life. You, whatever you're eating has no, it's no indicator of how precious you are, how smart you are, how valuable you are to this community. That's just what you're eating on your plate. It's right. not like, oh, well, if I have chicken wings day versus salad day, I'm a better human being. Like that, no, that is not it. Next one's from Andy. Hey, Andy. Said, I had a food victory yesterday at a family gathering with lots of standard American diet items. I brought along a few snacks in case I was still hungry. Good job. My plate had deviled eggs, mustard, one and a half hamburger patties, and tomato slices. When done, I decided to just sit, chat, and enjoy the fellowship. It was enough to fill me up, so I didn't need the snack food. My body seems to finally showing me some satiety signals Ooh. after seven months. Thank you for sharing, too, that it's taken seven months of your consistency to start seeing that sort of phenomenon happen because people need to see they're just getting started and then like three days into it, they're like, I'm, I'm, why am I still like having carb, you know, cravings or why am I, did I fail at the company picnic? You know, like it takes time. It takes consistency. Like that, that's just what it's going to require. So thank you for doing that. But that's a real victory. And I find that it very much helps before you go to an occasion, if you go to a gathering, because we're had we're in the holiday season now, right? What is the priority of the get together? So if you're going to a birthday party, what's the priority of the get together? It is to celebrate the birthday person. So saying something encouraging, buying a nice gift, sharing in laughter, honoring that person. That's the priority, not the food. If you're going to, you know, a Halloween party, what is the priority? Well, for you to dress up and to have fun and to enjoy the kids around, that's the priority, not the food. So making sure that the priority for whatever gathering you go to, if the, if the priority is fellowship, then if all you do is just have some good fellowship, you've checked that box as successful. Yeah. 
Uh, next one is from Homesick Buckeye. Hey, Homesick Buckeye! Managed to get myself to 548 pounds over the years. After a conversation with a family member, October 2021, I decided to change my life. I started keto May of 2023. I'm on the road to a better and healthier life, and I'm not looking bad. Back down 41 pounds as of September Woo! 15th. Ooh, fantastic. Congratulations. Next one's from Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Okay, if this is inappropriate, someone please let me know. 60 years old, 15 to 29 pounds from goal weight. I think senior weight chart says I'm there already. My question is does keto help with female libido? That's not a too much of a question. I think that we family. And I think it's important that we discuss all aspects of it. <laughs> Look at your face. Does it help with... I can answer this. I can... Okay. Do you want to no, start? No, I'll... Go for well, it. she's asking about female libido. I will say Sex yes. Sex drive. Yes. It helps tremendously. Okay, so first of all, it helps from the aspect of hormones. It has really, really helped with hormones to get those... Balanced. It, it balanced. And I think that's the key, not just for your libido, but also for fertility. We've definitely seen, you know, it's helped Nisha. It helped our, our daughter it's get helped. pregnant. It's, it's helped for that, like for healthy. It definitely helped me go into menopause, not even being aware that it was happening, which is and basically- And still having a libido. And still having a libido. The other thing that keto has helped with in the downstairs area, yeast infections, urinary tract infections that like used to plague that issue and will impact sex, right? Like you got a yeast infection, you're not like, hey, let's have sex tonight, right? So it's really helped with that. Once you've also feel good in your body. We're, we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> you feel good in your body then you're able to do some stuff. Now, I'm not necessarily saying like install a trapeze in your bedroom, but that like- Sounds like a great idea. But like you can do more stuff. Okay, so that's what I was gonna say. So even, I, I think it does work hormonally. Listen, I'm a guy, so. But um, I know that it has increased my libido, but also, and Robert has talked about that, even like not the way he's been losing weight and like under eating. Yeah. Like he lost some. And he talked about right. that in one of his new things. He's, he's like, young. not as excited in the bedroom anymore because again, it's hormonally and he was under eating. Again, big thing about under eating. Please don't under eat. I know we're trying to lose weight, but you want to under eat just a touch, not a lot. Don't be dropping what you're supposed to be eating. If you're eating 12, 13, 1400 calories, you're not eating enough food, most likely. Okay. It's just the bottom line. It's nobody should be eating that little. Um, our 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 almost year old oh wow grandbaby eats more than that, and she's little, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. I think I, I, even if it didn't impact the hormones, which it does, when you lose weight and you feel healthier, and your and everything else, and your diabetes going, you feel more attractive. Well, you feel you, very confident. You yeah. You feel more confident. You get more excited mentally. And so that will also be a little bit. Well, and I just want to say, cause you talked a lot about like, don't under eat. A lot of times, even when you want it, like you're under eating. Okay. So what do you, what happens when you under eat? You do not have sufficient energy. You're maybe you're, maybe you're losing weight in your mind that like, okay, I'm like losing weight faster than I would. And then I will go enjoy my life when I get in a smaller pair of pants. But the problem is, is that if you're not taking in enough energy, if you're not eating and fueling yourself properly, what's a natural thing that happens as a result of that? You are fatigued. You have only got enough energy to get yourself through the day. And that energy is going to naturally go to the job that you have to do because you got to pay your bills and then you get home and you pass out and like you don't have energy for one another. So that's another reason to actually fuel appropriately so that you will have energy to do the other things that is involved in living your life to the fullest, like right. really enjoying your partner. Now I do want to say, we have two more left. I do want to say, Again, we are not doctors, nurses, or health professionals. When we're talking about libido and sex on keto and do you have a greater desire, 
This is based on our, our own personal, personal experience, experience, but also on conversations we've had with a lot of people. Yeah, sure. Nisha to have Beckett, and I'm not. She said this publicly, so I'm not like giving a secret. They had, I be they they had uh, in vitro to have Beckett. Then she did like beef butter bacon and carnivore, and it was like whoops, surprise. Here's Bonnie. So like it does affect things. I can tell you the first time. Beef, butter, bacon, egg came around, like, greatest bedroom time ever, and, like, you know, for a what, right? It's just, it it does, that's if, our experience. Maybe okay. we should, maybe we should, if we're trying to spread the message of keto, dude, that's the way to do it, right? right. Because, like, I think people kind of perk up when they're like, wait, what? I don't right. have to take a pill? I don't have to have a shot? Like, I'm not doing something weird? Like, hello. Next one's for Michelle. Hey, hey Michelle. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm 62 years old. I live in Atlanta after moving in the summer 2021 from Broward County in South Florida, not too far from Joe and Rachel. Wow. Lifelong dieter with all the intels. I started keto in March of 2019, have stuck with it always, but to varying degrees. Um, I'm given up about 90 pounds since then. I've done beef, butter, bacon, egg, and found it slayed my obsession. Nice. Lately, I'm obsessed again. I'm not cheating, but my weight seems to creep up a pound a week. So I'm committed to giving up sweet flavors and non-meal eating during this challenge. Nice. With all of your support. I've already stopped using heavy whipping cream in my coffee, and I'm grown to like butter instead. I'm already worrying about giving up keto brains in my coffee and keto chow both in my coffee, especially as a meal replacement ice cream in my creamy. All oh, sounds like me. I'm nervous about giving up alcohol, rum, which I've also enjoying on the weekend. Weekend nights, which, as we mentioned before, yeah. the rum might be the cause of the weight gain going up. Well, I think that it is important. Like, so you've stated it, and I think that's good to get out, purge yourself. This is what I'm afraid of, but don't stay there. Don't just let that be the rolling script of what you're afraid of. Now that you've gotten it off of your chest, like these are the things that I'm worried about. Now start listing the things you're looking forward to. What are the things that you're excited about? What are the things that you haven't had in a while? Like, wow, I haven't had a variety of beef cups. I haven't tried to use this cooking device in a while because I'm gonna be more intentional about how I prepare you know, my beef and my eggs because this is like the sum total of what I'm gonna be eating. So I'm gonna get more creative in the kitchen. What are you looking forward to when it comes to a challenge that you have about yourself? Last one is from Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Are the meathead groups, uh, meatheads group and the family group the same thing? Uh, so family group is just a higher level of the meatheads group. They're both like paid things. So again, if you go into Mighty Networks, Mighty Networks itself is free. Members of TooCrazyKetos.com. Anything we post for the most part is in the main group. Then you have a five, a 10 and a $25 level. In there, pretty much almost everything we post is in the Meatheads group, which is just not available to to the public. public. So they have like their own chat where they can just kind of chat with each other. And then we will do live streams with them, not open to the public. And then every week, Rachel also does... Um, Fearless Her Friday. Fearless Friday, which is the post. So that's the, the biggest difference, but our general posts go in there. It's just different levels for us. And those levels for people to support has us. access to each other. So you kind of know like who else is at the family level, right. who else is at this And the higher level. levels have access to every level below them. Exactly. So, okay, uh, let's do chat for a few minutes. I know we ran long, but... Katie said, not a keto hey, question, Katie. but I had a pipe burst under my sink and how it smells moldy. Any tips on getting rid of the smell? Get some of those um, damp rids and then lots of bleach. That's unfortunately, if you have mold, that's that's what's going to kill. John said, question for channel members is joining. Get rid of the post character limit. There's a post character limit in Money Network. I think there is. Now, there's the quick post in an article. Yeah. you could. Yeah. So... If you're making a post and it says it's not long, just turn it up on the cup and you can say, do, what do you want to make? Do you want to make a quick post or do you want to make an article? Make it an article. Right. Then you can as you want. Uh, Chris said, I'm not afraid of lizards, but if there is suddenly something running up my leg, Thank I you, will Chris. yelp like a little girl. Thank you. Because, yeah, it was shocking. I just felt really bad that I literally like just pushed you in front of it. 
Normal Ketovore, I want to move to Florida so bad, but I'm concerned about the, the snakes, snakes and, and the lizards. lizards. Listen, the lizards are not going to, they don't hurt you. Rachel's just got. I'm just super um, afraid of weird, them. Like, I've never had. I've, they are everywhere. If you don't want to see them, they're you, everywhere. Yeah, you don't they're want to move everywhere. To um, Rose said, "I just became a twenty-five dollar monthly you. supporter. Did through the do, did the pay the annual percent savings? Thank you so much for supporting our channel. We, we really, really appreciate, appreciate that, that, Rose. Rose. Um, Diane, Joe, I feel uh, you about loving so much. I can't get Poland Spring Seltzer in." North, North Carolina. Wow. The last time I went to Connecticut, I literally filled my car with it to bring it down. The weight really affected my gas mileage. Yes. That's funny, though. But, like, if you like something, you're going to go out on a limb and find it. Chris said, Joe has sunk cost bias. That's him being a parent. I don't like this, but I'm going to drink it because I already paid for that it. That is absolutely... Boy, I can't even tell you, like, how If much... I didn't like it, I'd probably throw it out. I, but... I have gotten different about food, but I used to definitely be like, if I started eating something, I had to finish it because I paid for it. So I'm glad to kind of aged out of that. Connie said, I was so hey. nervous at KetoCon, but Joe, Rachel, and Dr. Barry were so awesome and friendly. Uh. Rachel needs to start a hug and <laughs> You know, you are loved when you wow. get a Rachel hug. Well, thank you so much, Connie. We, we And if you're going to Ketopalooza... I want you to know, like, I I do really enjoy touching people. Not inappropriately, but so hugging. We just had a conversation about libido. I, I, I know, but and this you're is following appropriate. Up, I enjoy touching But if you people. don't enjoy someone hugging you, let, you know, indicate to me, like, no, like, you know, no. Um, and I will respect that. Otherwise, I'm coming in hot. Again. Just so you know. Uh, Timeless Jewel, um, we need the recipe for the Keto Pancake Wrap Sausages you had, like, while scuba diving. It is on, it is an Instagram reel, it is our, it is a short on YouTube. We should, we can probably eventually, we said, you said we may turn it into a regular video because I know shorts go away, but. at least the video is out there. It is still there. So if you go to, there's a short on it. Yeah. Um. Trisha, thank you very much for the four ninety nine super Trisha. chat. Thanks, Trisha. Just thank you for everything. Aw, thanks, Trisha. I appreciate you. Juju B said, "My priority at get togethers are one hundred percent fellowship. Awesome, but I also like keep a meat stick and a genius gourmet bar in my purse in case I have a week." That is really smart, and that's the thing. I mean, here. You know, we sometimes feel a little bit weird. Like, there's bacon in my purse. I'm a weirdo. There's been way weirder stuff in my mom purse than purse bacon. Yeah. Okay? So, don't worry about it. I can't even tell you how many times I've reached into my, like, change purse and pulled out actual human teeth. If you're a mom, you know what I'm talking about. Because your child will lose a molar in the, and you're out. And you're out of the house. And you want to save it. For maybe the tooth fairy or you just want to save it because you're like, I'm not throwing this in the trash. And it goes in your purse. And I have actually had human teeth in my purse when I went to go get changed before. Uh, Maria. Hey, Maria. Question. I went off keto over a weekend on holiday. What is the best way to get back on track and get rid of my body of the sugar I ate? Just, just eat keto. Eat keto. Eat keto. If you go off keto, if you have a slip up, the answer is next the meal. very next Boom. thing you put in your mouth should be keto. Yeah. Don't go, hey, I screwed up this meal, so I'll start again tomorrow. No, you start again with the very next thing that you're going to put in your body. because, And that's why, first of all, I hate the term cheat. I hate the term I cheated. I hate the terms like like lazy keto or dirty keto because you're calling yourself lazy or dirty or a cheater. I don't like any of those terms. But I have the unpopular opinion and the very popular opinion with our friend Mary T., of keto all day, every day. Yeah. I do not believe, and I know people disagree with me, and if you disagree with me, that's fine. Put a hate comment down below. It helps build the channel when you disagree with me and put a hate comment. Um, don't want, put one to me. Um, I don't but want But I am the firm belief is there is no reason to ever, 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 ever go off of keto. Right. I don't care if it's your birthday. I don't care if it's your anniversary. I don't care if you just turned 100 or you're celebrating your 50th anniversary. You can celebrate. First of all, you shouldn't use food to celebrate. That's first of all. Second of all, you can celebrate 
with keto food. Yeah. Like, go to a Brazilian steakhouse if you want to celebrate with food. But I don't quantity. believe you should ever, ever go off of keto. And I have told Dr. Barry, Dr. Barry said, hey, like, birthday anniversary, you know, do what you want. And I've told him, I disagree with you, you know, because Some a lot of us have an that. addiction problem. And what happens is a cheat meal becomes a cheat day, becomes a, a cheat week, becomes a cheat month, and then you never go back. Some people, they can have something and go right back. A lot of us can't. But I think there's enough options to keep it keto now. And that's just my personal opinion. Ooh, I see Debbie, Purple Love and Nona is uh, yelling at me because not everybody has Instagram. No, it is also on YouTube. It's on YouTube. All YouTube of our shorts. shorts, even though people don't like it and I don't like it as well, we are, any of the shorts or stories or anything, Rachel yeah. is literally posting them on everything. TikTok. TikTok, Instagram, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah. I don't like YouTube shorts. I know a lot of you don't like YouTube shorts, but YouTube is kind of like, if you make shorts, we'll promote you. I, for the we one, don't even like make money off of shorts. We just want to reach as many people as right. possible. And so we're putting it where every people, and, and believe me, it is a pain in the neck because you can't take the one and just put it in the other place. You, some of them, you have to change the music. You have to, you know, like when you put it on Instagram, they put a logo on it. So now you can't bring that and put it on YouTube. So you literally have to create the same thing three or four times. It's But we're doing it to make sure everybody can it get it. It is truly a labor of love. <laughs> um, Shy Gal says, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thanks, Shy you guys Gal. help me so much. We appreciate you. Um, Alyssa and John said, when your body is not riddled with toxic inflammation from sugar, its tool belt is full to the brim with the ability to handle normal yeah. week-to-week and year-to-year infections at breakneck speed. It really, really helps. That That's the thing. I mean, not being so vulnerable. We're, you know, your best bet of getting through, this is, we're heading into cold season. We're, get, you know, the weather's going to change. People are much more vulnerable to like getting sick. And it used to be, this was the time of year that I always had bronchitis, like always sinusitis, like all the time. And it's been really refreshing that we don't get sick nearly as much. So like if that is a something that's important to you that you don't pick up every single cold out there, right. like that's reason enough to stay keto. Robin said, I agree with Rachel's comments about libido. Uh, also improves my negative thoughts, which makes me want yes, to more. And that's what we talked yes, about. Yes, because when I feel good about myself, then yeah, it definitely makes me more you know, apt. Rita said, I do this on food stamps. Didn't think I could, but I actually spend less now than I ever did before. What a yep. blessing. What a blessing. Here's how. Like Joe, just got out of Fresh Market, bought every ounce of bacon they had. That's just two for one, eight and a half pounds. So yeah, just a reminder, if you have a Fresh Market in your area, check out and see. Usually on Monday, they have buy one, get one free pounds of bacon. Foxfield Farmer, you can't talk about sex on YouTube. They change what you can talk about and demonetize. And, and I, if y'all have seen the thing, they just passed the thing saying if you're putting out any information medically that goes against what common medical practices say, like, hey, you can cure diabetes, they're shutting you down. Like, I, I mean, they're, they want to shut you down. Like, I would not be surprised if they continue on this path. And this is all about money. This is all about lobbyists. That like, hey, if the medical association says that like, you know, you should be eating high carbohydrates, high fiber, lots of fruits and vegetables, and you come out and say, no, eating this way is much healthier, they're shutting people down. Yeah. And so, you know, that's why you're seeing like Dr. Barry and, and even us, we're transferring videos everything we have over to other platforms. So if one day they come in and go, hey, your channel is gone. We're ready. We have our stuff in other places. I mean, it, it's scary to think that it's like, if you don't agree with mainstream society, then we're going to silence you. Well, That's their when attitude. When you think about how simple- It's not even just demonetize. It's we're going to shut you down. When you think about like, we've gotten to the point where an inflammatory message is just eat- meat and vegetables right like that's inflammatory like that's scary but that's why i mean some people are like i really don't like the mighty networks well i have to have other places in case facebook we shuts get people down kicked out of facebook right I, I have to be prepared for that because this family 
This community is too important to allow it to get shut down. Yeah. And that's mean, just Facebook too important. literally was booting people out of our group and off of Facebook for using the word fat. In butter. Like, like saying, like, I'm eating a whole lot of fat. And they were getting, and not just in our community, in other ones too. So that's why we did Mighty Networks. It's one of the reasons that Dr. Barry doesn't really focus on, in fact, I don't even think he's active at all in, in his Facebook group anymore. He switched everything over because we have to have a backup way. Yeah. We, I mean, Dr. Westman just put a video out about they are trying to silence keto and anything else that goes against mainstream medicine. Yeah. Uh, last one. Denise's hey, mom. Hey, Denise. I got a son with Down syndrome and autism who has major food aversions and sensory issues to eat your carnivore nuggets the other day. Wow. <laughs> you have no idea how huge this is. I literally cried. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Denise. I think that's a good place to end. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we, w one family at a time. Let's, let's do this. Like every family, every family member, like whatever the age, whatever the circumstance, like is so precious and valuable. You guys are worth fighting for. So we gonna do this. Let's fry up the frying pans. Let's come up with recipes and let's change the world. Okay, most likely we will not be having a live this Thursday because we will be in Louisville and I believe we have an event, um, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll put up posts about that. Uh, and unfortunately tomorrow I have um, my dive class, so I know we can't even, do, not tomorrow, on Thursday rather, but uh, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also hit the bell button so that you're notified when tomorrow's video goes live. Have a great day, guys. We love you.